hope um, FBAT snuck in the building to be in the sneaking. corner. He's uh, <laughs> actually been flown over by Gohai, and that's, uh, if I was uh, Weaver, I'd, I'd take a lot of credit from that. That is purely because she's obviously seeing Weaver as a, a bit of a threat tonight. Rodney Martin working with both players. He can't obviously go into the corner of, he can't have a preference. So it'll be interesting to see, Lisa, who goes into Olivia Weaver's corner because uh, Gohar's brought somebody in who she used to work with before Rodney. So interesting uh, dynamic there. Yeah, it certainly is. I do know her husband is in the building, so maybe he will take that position. But also, she may just be fine on her own. All eyes will be on that in between games, though, of course. The match with Orphe was absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? It was a tactical masterclass. So much variation, a lot of lifting to the forehand side, which is the tactic that we're seeing players use against Orphe and having a lot of success, just taking her out of that barrage of hitting adjustments that needed to be made on both sides and the style of play and the movement. So there was just a lot more to be to be done. You know, she didn't really have this overpowering natural style like Gohar did. She had a lot to her game, but it all needed to be pressed together. This is good. Sorry, Barrington just passing on a few pairs of wisdom with the technical five. front, certainly not the movement. But with Gohar, it's, it's also the, the shots, the the kills, the very aggressive hitting, the Aussie boasts, for example, comes through a lot more I would say in that area as well. well right on cue there. Lisa, as you said, Seven, you both. Four. Left. Opening up the court, but go hot. Yeah, which is a tough ask, you have to say, in the form that they're all in. It's not out of the question for her to get the number two spot back in this tournament. Full heart. Oh, that's a beautiful drop there from Olivia Weaver. The long drop just catching Goha a little bit deep in the court. Could be Gina Kennedy that will be. I was thinking that. Saw her in the front row. Olivia Weaver. Down. And there's the error. Just snatching that forehand volley draw. A simpler option. One game to low. For Weaver. So a good start from Gohart. Pace is getting absolutely ferocious. Yeah, it's really suiting Gohar, isn't it? I mean, just how still she keeps her. You could really see it there. How still she keeps her upper body, not giving any signs away of where the ball's going. She hasn't played a poor shot yet, nor on Gohart. It's not put a foot wrong. Just shows you the, the level of... I mean, the top three female players at the moment, Shabini, Hamami and, and Gohart. Weaver, two days ago, played against Orphe, the, the teenage sensation who's rapidly making her way up the ranks. She, she won in DC last week. And Olivia Weaver looked a million dollars. And she's come out here against the Gohart and is being given the... A bit of a clinic, really. 10-1 game ball. Nine game balls. Oh, 
ball. That's such a difficult ball. Perfectly executed from Gohart. From Gohart. Things just going up. A few decibels here. Go hard. For me, that's always a sign of confidence from her. Terrific rally from Weaver. And out, five all. In anticipation of the straight drive. In the, uh, in the face. It's just a technical... I won't say issue because it's not necessarily a, a problem or a bad thing, it's just... Well, it's a shot of Weaver though, isn't it? Yeah. It's not glued to the side wall, it's a little bit loose, so... It's going to be traffic Seven issues. All. So that lead gone now for the American. Yeah, that's fantastic with the racket drop of Gohart. Go you see that middle up. Fantastic third game there for Weaver. You have to say credit to her. 